Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Here you see uh, this this one also see how to install datadog agent this is what i am doing right now this is the you can try and send to us also okay so try it all this one anyways so here this command will start the agent okay which is started actually first time and now don't ignore this output this is your configuration file for the agent that means in simple way if you want to modify anything in the agent you have to modify this file okay and done so can we check that whether it's detected or not finish and you see here ui don't get lost is very simple all infrastructure all the alerts all the metrics which is got stored apm here logs here security related monitoring here ux ram and synthetic here and so on dashboard here this is very simple whatever i said no observability infra again i'm repeating infra here logs here face apm one second types of ux monitoring synthetic you have here here and the ram here you have these are the traces and then alerts we call it a monitoring here dashboard here simple okay so right now i install the agent which is for the infra monitoring so go to infra infrastructure list and here you see one agent and now look at this here all the data which you are getting the agent is running in the my, my machine here and all the data cpu ram and all stuff like that so containers are you running I am not running containers right now. You don't have processes. See, the process is not enabled. So, what to do? I'll just modify this file. Remember that anything which you want to modify, you modify this one. And then this command and process monitoring. Now, this file is pretty big. You might feel lost, but don't get scared. You over the period of time, you get a habit. So, I have no patience to go for it. So, I'm searching for process monitoring process config we call it actually i know that but i'm just playing with it here it is so i'm enabling this and uncomment this guy uncomment this guy and uncomment this guy now you say rajesh you were knowing and you uncommented it and here false to true. True. You you are knowing and you uncommented it. How do I know this YAML file? How do I know which are the things? So no need to think too much. Type that data doc process. One more word you will get it. The right tutorial you see here. Type process monitoring. And if you open up, you see that exactly what I did, I have shown you here also. And you see here. Correct so this is something which you can try and after that restart the agent and now the process monitoring within a few minutes you should be having over the rows. so now this also we did network automatically it will be installed to the network performance monitoring logs how do we enable the logs? So you have to enable the logs. I'll teach you that one in a few minutes. Let me complete the info and traces. Okay. Security and configuration for the agent. So one by one. So infra, I did uh, enable this agent and now you should be having it. So this is a way you install the agent, which is which will gather all the process and matrices from the host and you can do that same thing you do in the windows also 
something similar you do in the linux also so this is a widget if you want to install more so come to the infra and uh, sorry come to the integration and click on the agent and here you can install the more agent same ui you will get it see here same ui you can get so you just follow these guidelines and it will help you to set up your entire agent configurations as such are you able to understand that all of you any questions so rajesh how did you connect the uh, amazon that vm into this cloud one i missed that this agent is installed no? look at this image here this agent is running here and which is capturing all the information from the host and sending to the datadog agent how yeah. so datadog is this this uh, not datadog server and this is api based actually so for that there is one uh, uh, token is required api token let me show you in this file you have everything i repeat this file is answered for every questions you may have this file here if you see that go to the top it's pretty long file by the way five six pages actually more than that process monitor yeah you have to go top okay and lots of code things are there anything you want to change the agent behavior this file you have to use this i'm not able to okay. use that uh, i'm not able to use that shortcut for the vi editor it's not working so i have to do it all yes. so one problem. can say this is remote remote monitoring yeah see this is the key I'm starting the file so and okay. this is the api address so this is the data center address and this is the key if okay. both are correct everything is good okay got it so um, now rajesh refresh a quick one please a quick one please yeah. um does he use license or is it yes yeah, so, no it's not free it's a license mm -hmm. so i'm using trial account so i got it free okay so this right. is something which you have to do there. still the process has not come just wait for a few seconds and you can also validate that setting if you something is done wrong so process underscore config here process underscore config and this is done this is done true is done it's enabled so it should come automatically okay so you can see the spaces also one two here one two three four that's correct so done okay so now this is something which you have to do uh, now, how do you explore this, whatever the data is being captured? So this is one of the way to explore all the matrices, but actually you can go to matrix explorer also. So whatever the data dog has captured the data from different, different server, you can get it here. So you see that from last uh, 15 minutes, uh, all the data is coming, you see. Now, these are the matrix, events, process, incident, all this thing you can explore. Which data? CPU. So here, you, right now, CPU is coming and you can do the little bit of aggregations also based on that now let's say i want the disk so system disk so it's consistent because disk is free memory so how much free see these are the status of my memory is free and so on so here in explorer you can explore whatever the database or whatever the data whatever the matrix you have in the data dog there you can explore it and do some visualizations and graph and all kind of things okay so this is something which you have to do that now after installing it let's say you want to monitor the container also so what to do so see now go to the infra list click on it and see the process monitoring should come actually hmm. 
Did I restart with the agent? I restarted. So it's taking too much time. You can also check that command data dog. What about so permission? Is... No, not permission required. So here, well, this thing which is enabled. The log agent is not running, that's okay. I'm just checking the process has not come. It's been all, almost five minutes. So, see here. It's there actually. It's enabled as per the things. Data might take some time actually. It has seen, I see that. So, yeah. And here, config. There's one more command. And here you can grab this process. See. Here. So process collections. So look at this process collections. P. See here. Process config. Enable. Oh, this is taking false. Why? I enable this. Let me see. These are the commands to check which is enabled, which is not enabled. So I'm very particular about the process. And here process collection enabled true. So this is true actually. So by now, maybe some issues with the account. So it should come. Here you will get it only if the data is you have in the uh, data dog. So steps are clear. Uh, let me... This one, this one, true. That's all. Okay. So now that is a one thing. So how to do the log monitoring now? So before log monitoring, I'll do a little bit of more infrastructure part. Let's say you want to monitor Apache. So only one integration I'm showing you. But you know what? Datadog has a 500 plus integration. That means whatever you want to monitor, literally you can set it up at the Datadog. So if you want to see the integration, you come to the integration and look at this. A lot of which you have it. So right now I'm not complicating two integration I'll show you. One is Docker and one is Apache. So this is Apache here. Okay. And this is the Docker. Here. Okay. So let's do this Apache. Click here and install these integrations. This installation has done it. But in order to work, actually, uh, see, don't get uh, confused with this message. This message only talked about integration is working or not. So integration has started. But in order to in order to Apache to send the data, you need to do this one. So that means right now you require a little bit of knowledge on the Apache also. So these steps are there one by one. Now this step also I have documented in my here data doc. Apache. Like that, you search for it. We'll have a see. Uh, this is the one. Okay. So you can follow this one. Also. So same thing I'm doing right now, but little faster way. So I'm going to install the Apache. So it's a one to write. So you have PPT get install Apache. Apache. I'm installing Ubuntu. After that, see here, Datadog isn't installed? Yes. Uh, did you install the Apache HTTPD? Yes, I'm just now doing it. After that, you have to enable the integration. I did it. After that, you have to configure and you have to enable the mod status. How can you do that? So I'm just doing it. So this is, you have mod status is required. This is for CentOS. This is for Ubuntu. So in Ubuntu, you have to modify and you have to check this file is there or not. Enter this file is there. After that, uh, check the status of this. Okay, 
is running enabled and now you have to configure this so how do you configure this is the file you have to modify all these instructions you have it you can do that remember that you are in a monitoring world you need to know lots of other tools also and you have to modify require all granted so here require this one see server status local require all granted so here you have to uncomment this line require if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching